everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Ritnika and you have reached natural vibration so this is the divine masculine space I feel like a lot of changes have happened during this lion's gate opening and I just want to connect with the energy of the divine masculine to see what he's feeling what actions he's ready to take and you know what's blocking him so let's start I'm going to be using some different decks because, you know, I kind of got tired of using the same decks that I've been using. <clears throat> All right, let's get started. Sorry. So these are general readings that will not resonate with everyone. So just take what resonates and let the rest uh, fly. If you wish to book a private reading with me, you can log on to my website, naturalvibrations.in. And it would be great if you could please subscribe to my channel. That way I know you appreciate what I do and I can continue doing this for you. All right. All right, dear universe, please help me connect to the higher spirit of the divine masculine. Dear divine masculine, what is it that you're feeling for the divine feminine at this time? What's going on? What are you feeling? What are your feelings? Thoughts and feelings towards the divine feminine. All right, we got a lot of cards. <gasps> Guys, you saw the cards that fell out, right? You've got, you deserve love. Soulmate. Engagement. True love. Chemistry. There is a strong connection. And deception, false mask. All right. So right off the bat, we have beautiful energies. Ah, wow. I mean, honestly, beautiful. So let's just start. First and foremost, I feel like the divine masculine has, as we know, we know this. This is, this is normal. The divine masculine has been wearing a false mask all this time. We know that. We know that divine masculine has been hiding their feelings, not, hold, you know, not really telling the truth, not coming out and speaking to the divine feminine about what they feel. But after we have you deserve love along with this. This is telling me, that the divine masculine is coming to the realization that they deserve love, all right? That they, this is the self-love card, okay? The biggest issue blocking divine masculines from coming into union is self-love, is self-worth. And I feel like now, after this whole lion's gate and everything moving along, they're realizing that they truly deserve love. And why I'm getting this is because we have got three cards actually four but these three cards these three are the best cards to get in this deck you saw me shuffle i didn't pick them they just fell all right the universe is telling us the divine masculine now has come to full realization now obviously this is general this you know everybody's on a different path this is the collective energy for the divine masculine but the divine masculine that i'm tapping into they're telling me they're ready for the next journey they're ready for the next step they're ready to go engagement is all about ascending to the next level of relationship which means they have come to the realization that there is a strong connection with this person and no matter what they can't get rid of this connection all right, and they know that this person is their true love, their soulmate, their twin flame. Now, it doesn't matter what, what title you use. I don't even know if divine masculines are aware of the twin flame title. I don't even, I don't even think it matters, all right? All that matters is that they are realizing that they are ready to ascend to the next level. What does the next level mean? If you're not in com communication, there will be communication. If you are in sporadic communication, there will be regular communication. You might, if you have not committed to each other, you might commit to each other now. Or you guys might move in together if you are in contact. You might get engaged. You might actually get engaged. So the, either which way, what's going to happen is you guys are going to move to the next level, to the next level of this commitment. Beautiful. So dear masculine, what else would you like to tell the, dear, the feminine about what you're feeling? What else is going on? What actions? What else? Physical, not physical yet. <laughs> I just, 
I just said not act, not action, not physical yet. I meant like tell me the spiritual and emotional and it's like take action. So in the spiritual and emotional part, the universe, uh, the divine masculine wants to take action. All right. In their spiritual, th spiritual, emotional heart space, they're like, we want to take action. We want to take action. All right. So what else are they feeling? What else are they feeling? Feeling. Thoughts and feelings, universe. Divine masculine. Anything else you want to tell us about your thoughts and feelings from this deck? No. All right. We're going to take this deck. <laughs> So dear universe, dear gods and goddesses, dear divine masculine, what are you feeling towards the divine feminine at this time? What are you feeling? Okay. King of Gabriel, keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to other. Experience that leads to success, genuine concern for others. I think this is, yeah. And peace, release the past. There is, no, there is more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. I feel both of these cards are talking about not to worry about the past, not to worry about how you're going to make things happen, but it's more about leaving it to God and looking at the bigger picture. And I think this is brilliant because I feel like the divine masculines have been stuck in the 3D world to, to such an extent that even though they want to come back together, they're not... They're so caught up in how it's going to work out in the 3D. Like, oh my God, this is not going to work out. Oh my God, I'm stuck in this job. Oh, I can't move country though. I can't move city though. How is this going to, this, this person is like this, my family saying this. I mean, there's a lot of issues, right? There's always going to be issues in any kind of relationship. And I feel like the divine masculine has sort of been stuck in the 3D and being like, no, no, no. How do I do this? How do I do this? But now what they're realizing is that they need to think, of the bigger picture and they need to sort of let go of how things are going to work out and just jump in you know in their heart space in their mind they're like you know what i have no idea how it's going to work out but i need to know i now realize that this is the person i need to be with and it really doesn't matter what steps we're supposed to take to get back together in the physical right for them it's now oh my god you know future can be bright i just need to trust that this is going to work out thank god i mean honestly thank god i really want the, the masculine to be at that place all right so let's start with the physical so dear universe dear divine masculine what actions will you be taking towards the divine feminine in the near future in the 3d what actions are you going to be taking Okay, we've got card 11, individuality. Now, to me, card 11 is all about twin flames. Uh, so what this is telling me is they're now no longer, um, they're no longer sheep, <laughs> to, put it, to put it really simply. They're no longer sticking to what society is telling them. They're no longer uh, being caught up in what they're meant to do and supposed to do. They're sort of now going with the flow and being who they're meant to be. All right. So in the physical, they're being their own, in, their own person. They're being their own individual in the sense of like, they want to take action towards you. They don't give a shit if it's the right thing to do, but according to society standard, they don't give a shit what their family says. It's more about what is it that I want? Who am I? And what is it that I want? And that is what I'm going to go for. So what else? Guys. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> new beginning and you see both of these are like the lower chakra card. it's like it's like your um your um the safety the, the the grounding card you know the lower chakra card new beginnings they want to start afresh and that makes sense because we have got these three cards four cards in their spiritual emotional so obviously, they, in the physical, they're ready to take new action. They're ready to take action. Communication. Woohoo! <laughs> Man, I can't wait. You know, I have these dreams that one of these days I will get on this video and I will tell all of you that I'm in union with my twin. Man, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? <laughs> Let's hope we all can say this, right? And I want all of you to reply back and say it happened for you too. That would be amazing. All right, anyway. So what I want to tell you guys is that the good news is the Divine Masculine is now 
ready now again this is general so it obviously relates to some divine masculine so if you do hear from your masculine please do let us know so the rest of us know that at least something somebody is getting there happily ever after okay they're ready for a new beginning they're ready for communication and they're ready to take step forward in the physical towards the divine feminine all right so divine masculine any advice you want to tell the divine feminine at this time queen of gabriel oh look at that we had king of gabriel for their feelings and the advice they want to give you is queen of gabriel you can do anything right now go after what you want the ability to attract helpful people so right off the bat the divine masculine wants to tell the divine feminine the look you are my partner okay and i feel like that's very synchronistic okay you are my soulmate you are my partner and you can do anything so divine feminine if you've been a little disheartened don't worry okay the divine masculine is telling you that anything you can go after anything you want right now so anything you want is possible divine feminine your masculine is telling you that what other advice do you want to tell, give your feminine eight of michael you can be free make a courageous choice to change your situation not seeing things clearly this to me again is going back to this card where i feel like the divine feminine now if you haven't seen my august twin flame reading now would be a good time to check it out because if in that reading it said the divine feminine had a lot of negative lower vibrations going on but the divine masculine was ready to take the step forward and i feel this is what resonates very well with that so definitely check out that reading what this is telling me is that the divine masculine is telling the divine feminine that you are not seeing the whole picture you're caught up in that old cycle you're not realizing that you are free to manifest what you want and things are not as they seem all right things can change things can change overnight and things are changing and you can get your happily ever after but divine feminine you aren't seeing things clearly because you're caught up in the negative you're caught up in oh my god nothing is working out for me wo me kind of energy and you've got to get out of it you've got to make a conscious effort to get out of it your plans are working out very well professional financial success using resources wisely the other advice your divine masculine wants you to know is things are working out this could also be in your career maybe you have some stuff going on in your career that you're worried about and your you know your money and aspects like that and they're like don't worry everything is working out for us all right that's what the divine masculine wants to tell you and then they want to tell you tena rafael love and blessings fill your life harmonious relationships with family members happily ever after I mean this is honestly the best reading. They're telling you this is what's happening. This is what's coming. You have nothing to worry about. All right? I mean honestly this is the best reading. Look at the cards. I mean and I'm doing this right here. You can see me shuffle. Oh my god, this is this is beautiful. All right. So the divine masculine is telling you get out of the negative divine feminine you have nothing to worry about things are working out you can't see the bigger picture yet happily ever after is coming happily ever after is you know it's going to be ours so what else do i want to do i want to ask um if there's anything blocking the divine masculine at this time just in case right so dear universe is there anything blocking the divine masculine from coming into union are there any blockages if so what are the blockages is there any blockage okay we've got we've got loyal heart we've got in between world which is upside down and we've got mending which is in the upright beautiful all right first and foremost mending in the upright pretty obvious telling me that things are ready to be mended they want to mend things there is they re, they're not blocked in this aspect okay between world is upside down this is actually much better when it's upside down this is telling me that they're no longer caught between two minds up till now they were stuck they weren't they weren't fully here and they weren't fully there they weren't fully awakened like they were getting you know they were they were awakening they were coming to the realization but they weren't ready to do something about it and completely own it this is upside down 
that means they're ready they're ready to own it they're ready they're no longer stuck and loyal heart upside down now to me loyal card is all about being devoted to a cause it's upside down and i wonder if this is to do with the feminine feminines are you sort of i know okay again this is for some of us glam a feminine in this divine connection as well and i've definitely been triggered all right and i've been feeling a lot of my old crap is coming up like things from years ago from my parents from my family i mean it's just coming up and i've been crying and overeating cuz that's what i do so i'm trying to get out of it but i feel like some divine feminine may be losing hope and because of that the, the divine masculine sort of feeling that energy um may there might be some divine masculines who feel like maybe you haven't been loyal to them anymore and i obviously there's no judgment i mean come on if you guys have been separated for years you're not going to wait around for them you might move on you might meet a soulmate you might do whatever now obviously this relates to very few people in this collective but there is parts of some some of us who are sort of not completely loyal to the connection anymore because they're tired and i get it you know because you're tired of waiting you want to move on that's a very small blockage though do you understand it's not a very big blockage what this is telling me is that don't lose hope divine feminine i'm not saying don't move on with other people if that's what feels right to you but don't lose hope don't lose hope that you don't that you won't get the happily ever after whether it's with your twin or with somebody else all right it's up to you but what this is telling me the biggest message of this is that they are no longer stuck they're no longer stuck between two worlds they're ready they're ready to make this this thing happen they're ready there there's no blockage i mean honestly okay i'm going to get one more card at the overall energy so dear universe so we should connect with the highest energy of the divine masculine for this month what's the overall action in the 3d that the divine masculine is going to take towards the divine feminine at this time promise of the future hope dreaming about the future planning a future that's what we want so yes the overall message from the divine masculine to the divine feminine is that have faith that there is going to be a future there is a promise of a future the future looks bright all right guys i hope this was helpful i hope all of us get into union really quickly and if you do hear from your twin please do comment and let me know please do subscribe to my channel take care bye